Back to the Storm Alert Center we go. Paul Bear standing by to tell us, is that dry air pumping through here, Paul? Yeah, dry air tomorrow. Very dry day again. Uh, just a few high clouds. You're not going to get rain out of that. The jet stream is just flying out of the southwest up into the Great Lakes, and that's pumping up most of the moisture out there, and that's where it's going to remain while well, we remain dry. And also on Wednesday, that same pattern is going to continue, but it's going to change uh, latter part of Thursday and into Friday, especially Thursday night. We got a terrific day coming up tomorrow. It's going to be breezy and warm on Wednesday. A bit of a breeze for tomorrow, too. And then the clouds will really start thickening up a little bit on Thursday before that rain moves in. High today in the city was 81. Nashville was 80. 78 Atlanta. Look at that, 86 all the way to Tulsa and 83 in Dallas. So warm weather has been building up uh, across much of the eastern half of the country, and that's going to continue to get even a little bit warmer uh, for us. Looking at the rain now across the Great Lakes, some Freezing rain and sleet still out over the upper peninsula of Michigan. That's crazy weather up there, but you know, that happens a lot up into the UP. It's a beautiful spot, but not in the wintertime, especially coming up into almost May and they're still getting sleet and, and snow. The high clouds are spreading in out of a storm system. The jet stream's pumping up a lot of moisture from the Pacific Ocean, believe it or not, right across Mexico, Texas, and then we're getting some of the high clouds out of this. All the rain and stuff is off to the north where Another part of the jet stream is up there, too. 65 in Dalton, 63 right now in the city. Dayton's at 61, but it's already down to 52 in Murphy where the clouds are not as thick. The winds are calm right now, and the pollen count was over 500. 81 and 45 for the high and the low. Pretty good spread there, 36 degrees. That's a huge spread uh, this time of year, and uh, very dry air. And uh, we're about 3.6 inches above normal in rain. Skywatchers told me 81 in Somerville today, 82 in Chatsworth, while Dalton had uh, 78, Calhoun 79, Scottsboro also coming in at 79. Well, Cleveland and Saudi Daisy were 79, so was Mowbray Mountain. With 80 in Red Bank and uh, North Chattanooga, 81 in Trenton. Lookout Mountain, 73. Eastridge, though, was 82. All the way out to Murphy, 81. Even Turtletown, 80. 81 in Delano, 80 in Riceville. And 80s right along the Sequatchie Valley, except for Jasper, only 79, and only 74 up near Cagle Mountain, 73 up in the Monteagle. Here's the latest Fibercast. This goes out a little further. This is uh, four days out. We're going to show you this moisture again climbing up, uh, coming out of the Gulf of Mexico, uh, some showers out into Texas, nothing near us uh, for tomorrow. This is Wednesday morning, clouds thicken up a bit. And then we'll have mostly cloudy skies through most of, most of Wednesday with the showers off to the north, maybe a few thunderstorms too. And then this cold front is going to stall out a little bit just briefly on Thursday morning, but it's going to edge our way coming up into Thursday afternoon, Thursday night especially, and overnight. And then it'll be scooting out of here coming up by Friday and probably out of here before morning. So I'm thinking about a quarter to maybe a half inch of rain at the most. East of the city, maybe a little bit less. So tonight, 57 with some high clouds for tomorrow, 84. Again, some high clouds. Southerly winds, 10 to 15, but they won't be too gusty. 63 tomorrow night uh, with the clouds increasing a bit. 85 coming up on Wednesday. Late in the day, mainly Thursday night, showers moving in. And then they'll be ending early, early Friday morning with 69. And uh, 68 coming up on Saturday. Nice day, 76 Sunday. It's even better in 82 by next Monday. So. Next 48 hours look, uh, almost the next 72 hours look pretty good. Greg?